Hey, I'm Lydia and I'm a competitive runner. Getting a little bit bored of it though, so I've done a bit of research and I discovered free running. Um, I'm about to go and meet a group of free runners now called Decipher. Hi, we're Decipher and we're a free running performance team from Auckland, New Zealand, and my name's Ethan. I'm Avale, I'm Colin, uh, Zeke, and Kate, and Jared in here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what actually is free running? Well, free running um, it, it derived from parkour, which yeah. is it started um, a few years ago, well, a lot of years ago, back in yeah. back in France, yeah. and um, it's it's sort of based from this military course sort of thing that um it, it's sort of about efficient movement, getting from A to B as efficiently as possible using like yeah. just the body. Free running sort of takes it that step further and just sort of like opens up freedom to do what you want and stylize your moves. So um, why do you guys reckon free running is not like a recognized sport at the moment? Yeah, it's quite new. Like, <laughs> yeah? Um, yeah, probably like 20 years that it, it's only been started. Oh, okay, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It sort of, it like started out really like, like low key and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sort of growing like real, real rapidly. So you don't reckon that many people not, would know about it? Uh, um, there'd be a few, like, yeah. it wouldn't be like a, a general public sort of thing, like everybody knows what rugby is, but yeah, it'd be yeah. like certain people who, who really know what free running is. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're here at uh, TriStar Gymnastics Club. A lot of um, free runners come here to sort of try new moves into the foam pit before they take them outside. And uh, it's a good place to learn, like, if you're scared of hurting yourself or dying, but <laughs> no, it, it, it's real fun. And there's like a lot of like things you can do here to like help improve stuff, so you can take it outside and yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to teach you how to front flip yep. now. Um, key things with the front is you really want to like throw your arms around, yep. tuck as tight as you can, and go forward and then sort of think about landing. <laughs> throw your arms, but don't throw them down. So throw them sort of like up and around. First heard about free running on a, on a TV show called Top Gear. I uh, saw it on the news, like in third form, I think. Uh, pretty much through my mate Ethan. Uh, I, I was kind of introduced to it in intermediate school. Oh, it's actually cheerleading that started me off. This is the lazy vault. So, um, it's part of a series of lots of vaults used in uh, like many different parkour techniques to get over small obstacles such as this. You, you want to take off your right foot? Yeah. Place your right hand. Yeah. Kick over with your left foot and pull your right leg under your left leg. Better. Uh. Hey. I don't really like being like everyone else. I just like yeah. doing my own thing kind of. And free running kind of just lets me express myself because like not many people do it. Okay, well, I'm going to teach you the Kong vault. Yep. Push off your hands. Yeah. And bring your knees, knees through. Mm -hmm. So it's propelling you forward. Okay. So I really want to try and get into the cipher. Guess I better up my skills. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's been three weeks now and I want to see if I'm good enough to be into cipher.
the cat. Oh, maybe in a couple of months then, better keep practicing. Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks now and after some practice and a little consideration, I've decided free running is definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. So I think I'm just going to start to my computer running.